I make music that you go home and put headphones on at 3 a.m. and cry in your bed. My music is just everything that inspires me. I think you can't make original art unless you're like mixing things because you're always going to be having your ideas from somewhere. The EP is called You Stole a Year of My Life um, and it's about um, the period last year uh, when I had to wait uh, 15 months for hormone treatment. It was like losing autonomy over my own like body and, and stuff. It was that someone else has to make that decision and, and I had no influence or power over it, which is like, I don't know, pretty shitty that someone else gets to decide what your identity is. So it's like from that frustration that the EP was written, yeah. And then I wanted to finish it off on like a cute note. I wanted some male positivity. I like men and I like when they're allowed to be themselves, when they're allowed to be all these things which aren't necessarily seen as manly uh, usually in our society. I like when, when men are allowed to be how they are, like how we are as humans. I don't believe in boxes as like a God ordained, like this is you. Like I don't think anyone is like that. Boxes are really useful ways of describing things, but I think you should never expect things to stay in those boxes. But they can be extremely helpful to um, like describe and articulate experience. So for instance, I'm in the box of trans woman or lesbian, indie artist. Like those things are useful categories, but they should never be something you can't change out of. I think you should define your life the way that you want to live it and the, the way that makes you the happiest. My ro role models, I guess it's just people that are like doing something cool or, or like wh whose art like touches me, which is so many people. I don't generally put too much stock on the people that make it. Like it's like this amazing one individual who did everything because it's always like a bunch of people who are doing things. It's never like one person. I don't want to get too much into like idol culture. I don't, I don't think it matters. It does matter to some extent, like certain like trans YouTubers and stuff like that was like really important to me to, to show me that I could live a life that would have me be fulfilled as a trans woman. And so it's obviously important in that sense, but I don't, I don't want to like glorify people. I haven't had like someone give me like important advice that changed my life. Also, I, I don't think, I think rarely are things life changing. Like you don't get one thing and then you're like, oh my God, my life has changed. Like that never happens. But I think the most important thing that I try to follow is like the path of honesty, like being as honest as possible. Don't try to hide anything of yourself uh, away and try to be uh, welcoming to people in your life. Being reflected in art is, is the most important thing that art can do, I think. That's why you have to be so honest when you make it, because you're like, if it doesn't reach you, how is it, if it doesn't reflect you, how is it gonna reflect anyone else? In that sense, I, I, I just hope to be able to keep doing that and doing that more and more.